Hello, I'm going to go over the lesson plan for this week. Uh, and we don't have class on Friday. There is a teacher in service day, so that's a good thing for you guys. You get a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to just enjoy. I'm off, relax, and um, and I'm thankful for that for you guys. So um, this week looks a little bit different in terms of how I've structured it. I'm putting Monday and Tuesday together for the work, and I am putting Wednesday and Thursday together for the work. And it, it works out better that way because you do have to spend a little bit more time with some of the ideas that I'm trying to communicate to you. Um, and also another thing I did, I did say last week that there was going to be a Google form quiz on Monday. Um, instead of doing that, I wanted to build upon what you learned about Sharia and, and continue to have a discussion about um, an, another topic and idea within Islam. And, and so I'm just going to wait to do the assessment at the very end of our Islam unit and just put all that information in one Google Forms test for you guys. So I'm, I'm going to try not to break that up for, for us moving forward here. So that said, let's jump into what this week looks like. Monday and Tuesday. And again, that's because this, this is going to take a little bit more than just 40 minutes. So this is going to cover Monday and Tuesday. Notice how I lumped them together even here for you. Um, Zoom meeting, there will be no Zoom meeting. But if you do have questions about what you're working on, please come and see me um, during my flex office hours here. And good. Students will be able to. Um, I did forget I won't have office hours on Monday. I apologize, I just remembered that. That's why I just had a little brain fart and pause there. Um, no office hours on Monday this week. I do have a meeting uh, with the administration at nine o'clock on Monday, so my apologies. If you need to meet with me for whatever reason, please send me an email and I'll try to find another time on Monday. Okay, let's move forward. Um, you will be able to observe and understand the connection between Sharia law and jihad. So last week you spent a little bit of time reading through what is Sharia law, what Muslims believe about that in different places around the Middle Eastern world. And what you're going to do is continuing to learn about a connection now between the two. So one of the readings is titled simply Jihad and Sharia. And it's just two pages packed full of pictures. And um, it's a, it's a really helpful little document that um, does quite effectively show the connection there. And I want you to read the article and just be ready to test on the material. There's going to be some basic information there that will appear on a test. Now, what I want you to do with that, though, is create a Google Doc. And here's what I want your Google Doc to look like. Um, you can start it out by looking, making it look like this with some columns and rows. And, and um, one of the columns over here, what I know, or I think I know, or heard about jihad. So before you even spend time reading this, this is important, because I want to find out what your prior information is on this topic. I want you to write down, and I don't know how many rows this is going to take, right? So I put a question mark here. I'm not sure how much you know about jihad or what you've heard about jihad. Maybe you've heard something, you're like, I don't know if that's right, um, but maybe you've heard something about it nonetheless. So write down in this section, all the stuff that you know or have heard about it. Then I want you to actually start doing the reading here. What I learned about jihad from the readings and the videos, all right? And so this is the Google Doc that you're going to turn in with this information here. And here are some short explanation videos and further reading that I do want you to listen to and watch. This is a one minute clip. It's super simple to, to listen to. This is a three minute and like some odd 24 second clip here. And it's also just a good little six minute read. So it really doesn't take too much time to get through the reading information, but I do want to, I want you to spend time processing this. Okay. So follow the checkoff list here. You opened up the PDF, you created a Google Doc following this paradigm, you watched the short videos, and you did this interaction before the reading, what you know, and then you did this interaction after the reading, what you learned. And there will be a place for you to turn this in, um, a Google Doc with your gathered information from the reading checkoff list, okay? So that is going to take up Monday and Tuesday for you guys, okay? 
Uh, moving forward here, again, I should delete this here because I don't have office hours on Monday. Apologize for that. This is the Wednesday-Thursday combo. About this time in the unit, after learning a little bit about Sharia law and jihad, and just kind of the way Muslims um, function from their origin and how they think paradigms with the Sunni and the Shiites, um, I, I have us listen to this podcast. And the podcast is an hour and four minutes, um, and that's why it's going to take a Wednesday-Thursday combo to listen to. How are you? I would just listen to it all in one day and not split it uh, split it up, primarily because it packs quite a punch when you listen to the whole thing all together. Um, the fe- I have additional resources here. Um, Jamie Winship is uh, the fellow you're going to listen to, and he he does frequent the Northwest from time to time. So some of you are familiar with Bridgetown Church and. They have him. They they have him as a speaker there whenever he's in town, and he he stays with uh, Gerald and Jenny Griffin um, when he stays here in town. He is probably and again it takes an hour to to believe this, but he's probably one of the best storytellers I've ever heard, um, and that has a lot to do with the experience that he has um, has. Over, over the years. Um, I don't want to give anything away. It has a lot to do with things you've been learning about Islam, and it has a lot to do with hearing God's voice specifically. So many good things from this, uh, and I'm excited to debrief this with you guys next week when we come back together on a Monday. Um, anticipate perhaps a Zoom meeting on the following Monday. It's It's so good. So students will be able to, you're going to be challenged in your understanding of what it means to hear God's voice. Um, Here's what I want you to do with this. So this is also why it takes the Wednesday, Thursday combo, because it is going to take about um, 75 to the full 90 minutes here of, of work time for the Wednesday, Thursday combo here. But again, if you want more information that you don't have to look at this, it's there for you. That's who he is. That's what he does. He is a wonderful Christ follower, wonderful brother in Christ, both him and his wife. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. Um, Create a document that looks like this, and this is what you're going to turn in. Here are my major questions that I want you to be thinking about as you're um, listening to this podcast. What did I learn? um, What did I learn about hearing God's voice? This is the the big question that I want you to wrestle with here in this section. Your answers should hopefully be specific with details from Jamie's life experience. So you're listening to this podcast. You're listening to someone else's story. What what did you learn about listening to God's voice specifically? And what I'm asking for is three to five interesting uh, details to help you answer this question. So kind of write those details down. And then kind of ask yourself, what did I learn about that? What, what stood out to you? And then what, from Jamie's experience, did you learn about Sharia law? Now, I have here is a little pointer and a guide. During a certain part of his story, he mentions something about Sharia law, specifically an experience he had. Okay, There's an experience, a story that he tells where he was actively engaged in Sharia law. And what from Jamie's experience did you learn about Sharia law? Okay. All right, next question here. Although not explicitly stated, in what ways, good or bad, do we see Muslims living out jihad? Now, now guys, this is where I'm asking you to kind of do some big time critical thinking. Last week, you learned about Sharia law. Monday, Tuesday, you learned about jihad and Sharia law. And now I'm sharing a story with you guys through this podcast where you, you, you hear from Jamie's story, Muslims wrestling with something. Now, that could be either good or bad from this story. We see both examples for sure. So what I want you to do, this is critical thinking, listen for at least 
two to four examples and write those down here in this box. And then how should we apply the information from this podcast into our own current experience? Um, I want you to spend time thinking about what can I apply to my life? What are some big takeaways here? I'm asking you to be specific. I think his story invites us to analyze our own life um, in a very profound way. Three to five sentence response, okay, on that, that, that question. Um, a little bit about the podcast itself. Um, if you go ahead and click on this link here, but you don't have to, but if you do, you can, you can see who he is. I kind of like to find out who I'm listening to myself, so I encourage you to do that. Um, when I first listened to him, I thought Jamie was just like some um, surfer pastor from L.A. Because that's what he sounds like when, he, when he's talking um, and you don't know that he's like an older, um, older gentleman. Um, you, it doesn't really seem like that. But uh, uh, and then a little bit into the teaching, he pauses as there's like some disruption in the audience. And I think someone was just uh, um, there's no other way of saying it. I think some might have been either deeply moved to just call out something or possessed um, demonically, because I don't think Satan's happy with this message at all. Um, so you'll hear that. And students always wonder, what was that? And I think that's what was going on. Um, and, and anybody that goes to this church would, would probably attest to that. There are um, moments at Bridgetown Church where any, anybody can show up and sometimes there's a disruption in the service. Not all the time, um, but there, this recording captured that just a little bit. Okay, um, if you have questions again, please come see me during the flex period. I, I will uh, make sure to answer those questions for you. But I really hope you enjoyed that podcast. It is absolutely wonderful. And that brings us to Friday. No Zoom meeting, no objectives, no class, nothing to turn in. You should, all, you should be done with all your classes by Thursday. You shouldn't get any work from teachers on Friday. It is a day off, okay, for you guys. We're, teachers are working. We have an in-service day, um, but, but it's going to be a, a good weekend. Okay, thank you very much for listening to this. If you have questions, come see me during Flex. God bless the rest of your day. Adios.